Okay, so we need to learn how to complain, how to chill out with me. We need to improve our social media skills. Our Facebook activities. Our showing complete insensitivity to the millions of people. We need to have internet access. But I don't think I'm insensitive. People, I took out a survey on people to see what kind of access they had. Let's take a look at this. Yes, I would say I do. Yes, yes. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I do. I connect at college, college Wi-Fi. At home, I have Wi-Fi. At home? At home or at work? I use the internet mostly for research. Doing research. Research. For schoolwork? Varsity. Definitely, yes. We need Wi-Fi. Facebook. Pinterest. Blogs and Instagram. Email. Gaming. I'm watching movies. I'm on the internet. 75% of my time. I think we should. <laughs> Definitely, yes. It's very convenient. Like European countries, they have Wi-Fi zones. People at the bus, or even on the bus, people can access the internet from anywhere. Everything is so connected with the internet. This would kind of help me out if I'm in a pickle. If you don't have the internet, it's like if you don't have an ID book. We need Wi-Fi zones around the entire country. But when I say wrote me, <laughs> I mean, bangwa leche mangwalo. Leche started pouring like in envelopes, and I thought, how? Oh, but talk about Narani. Surely a vicious email typed in all caps would have been more effective than expecting me. Or the kocha ti pa kule mangwalo aki. I start reading your handwriting. That is terrible. And then it struck me. These people have no email, no Facebook, no Twitter. These people like Bella know me in places like Daniel Scales. I am Pelonomi Teteme, I am Daniel Scale, I am a doctor. I am a clinic, but not a doctor, so I am a volunteer. Actually, I am a doctor at the file of the clinic, and I am a doctor at the clinic. I am a doctor at the clinic, and 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 I am a doctor at the clinic. Dan skill ke dorong penyanyi ni penyanyi mohon mohon dengan cake. Kaya kakala tadale Kimberly. Bagi pelakon penyanyi, road saya izan mohon dan skill ni. Road saya aku sekolong sese no si mohon dan skill ni like primary, high school. When you finish metric here, we don't have a diplomacy in our own or our study or our zone more than in scale. We try to own a country that is in scale like Kurumani, Kadu, and then Kimberley. I want to job opportunity more than in scale. The challenges that are existing is that um, I live in Tlakalatlu. I stay in Tlakalatlu. I want to get job in Tlakalatlu. Daniel scale and it's a 30 minutes walk. Get over that information thing. From a touch on a gun, a battle, a battle, a miracle, a battle, a bona for a giddy opportunity. See, taking the thing, come at a banana because of having a free access to internet. Imagine a guy and go library, get about the information of the library. Maybe you want to something say about the house of print. How on talk about the channel? It's a little bit. How can you tell the control? I need to know how to have a CP. What on a kind of work? I bought it. Oh, what on a kind of work? Look, it's a my tenor and they at least to go back. I'm not a gas. We are living in the age of information. And uh, for young people to be successful, uh, they need to get information, and it is uh, easily accessible through the internet. We do have Wi-Fi. Our learners are using telematics. They are using tablets. They are using uh, laptops in their classes to do their school projects. Kunale Wi-Fi ko school, mar Wi-Fi ya ko school ilimitedi because of ukona ko access ay la holy mo assembly point. Ukona la mo ukona ko access and kabo three utlo ko actually nothing off. Ako postile something like the job opportunities mo tara Facebook. Basa ba mo kabo ko nuro bona ko ako postile the job opportunities because of kabana access to internet. Kalau kita kita sama ya cila itu lili kias kolong ke bawah kias kolong, dan again hati kor kita kor sama ya sebagai sesuatu lili lekor batla information ni lah elok kor kita hantu sah kor kita ni akses for the opportunities ni lekor kita ingat for baca it's not right. 
You know what? On Wusha Extra Serve Our Tutu Information is not a new thing either. <laughs> it's a good old South African tradition, it seems. <laughs> It's often said, knowledge is power. But knowledge should also be democratic, as in people should pass knowledge to each other. One powerful tool for passing knowledge appeared about 500 years ago. It was called the printing press. It meant that books didn't have to be copied by hand. Instead, books could be rolled out in quantity to reach almost everyone. In the 1950s, Apartheid laws totally segregate the country's public libraries. Apartheid also brings heavy censorship. It doesn't matter if you're black or white. The Apartheid authorities don't want you to read those books with titles like Black Beauty, which is actually about a horse. Today, the right to read is enshrined in the biggest, most democratic, most up-to-date library in the world, the Internet. Many argue that the right to internet access is a basic human right, like access to water and housing. Some South African municipalities are responding by providing free internet access in public spaces. Wherever you are in South Africa, you're entitled to use the knowledge resources that fall under local government. So ask, is our local library happening? If not, you can make it an issue and apply the power of your local vote. It is said that in the wrong hands, knowledge is a dangerous thing. Let's see who has access to information these days. Elena, what is a library? Library? I know it. It's got a lot of books and you have to read and be quiet. A place where there's lots of books. Somewhere you can get books. You can read there. And they say you must keep quiet. If you talk um, too loud, um, the other students won't be able to read properly. You can go study, you can go and get research on stuff that maybe you need for school. The libraries give you lots of research. Most about history stuff and present stuff. Some libraries you can buy books or you can borrow books. Those books can help you to be good at reading. And do you use the library? Sometimes. Yes. Yes? Not that much. Um, no, I have my own books. Sometimes I want to go but I can't. On Saturdays and Sundays it's closed. If you want to read a book peacefully and you can't read it at home, you go there. I sometimes um, use research for um, books we collect books, then on those days we bring them back. What is the internet? The internet is somewhere you can log on. I don't know. I don't really know. Internet is like TV. It's a whole big place full of electricity. Power source. You get your videos, your funny videos, you can get news. Go in and search for things. It's a better library. Kids. Don't trust the internet. How does it work? Um, I don't really know. I don't think I know that either. Oh, by switching it on. I don't really know. I don't know. You first need, like, a computer or a phone. You Google something or you type something. So you go to Google and then you type, like, what you want to ask. Maybe you're looking for the definition of something, then you type in the word and definition. Do you ever go on the internet? Um, no. Mm -hmm. Yes. No? Yes. I do that every day. I've never been on the internet. I am on social media. Only if I want to watch movies. Who pays for the internet? I don't know. I don't know. The ones who created it, or is it the president? I don't know. My father. My mom. I don't know. My mom and dad. I don't know. Okay, so kemanga tswering me naga no gore batho ka ikhwetsa joang excess yona yeo. Solutions people, please.
the challenges we had as the community of Mosakeng regarding the libraries and books was we only have two libraries and we have sections, I think about five sections in our community. We have a library in extension seven and the one there by the main road and which is far for the kids from extension 11 and Zenzele. So we came up with a concept that how about we start our own underground library which will be sort of like a satellite for the other libraries. The challenges we had when we started, we didn't have any books. We wrote letters to churches, to schools, asking for old books, and then they gave us. But the most exposure that we got was when the library was banned on the 5th of Feb. We met uh, Twile Tuzwani from Mail and Guardian. She heard about us and then she came here to do a story and then that's when we started having books because people from all over Vin as Cape Town, they went to Mail and Guardian to donate books. So that's basically how we started. And for now we have about 50,000 books from that, yeah. We also donated some of the books to Extension 7 Library and the one in town. Some of the programs we have, we have reading, we have singing, gambo dancing, theater performances, yeah, spelling. We just wanted to be a different kind of library. We just didn't want it to be about you come to the library, you sit down, you read and then you go home. We wanted to actually interact with the kids because we've realized that Kids love playing, so if you don't play with them, it kind of gets difficult for them to concentrate on what they are doing. So they get hyped up whenever they have to come to the library because they know that today I'm going to do my homework. After homework, I'm going to be singing or dancing and all of that. Uh, this is the land that the local municipality has donated to us as the Mutlaking Youth Movement Underground Library. We're going to put in containers here and going to have a little playground for the kids when they come after studying. And we're also in partnership with the Grind Foundation. They are currently helping us raise funds to put in the pallet fencing for us. Most of the kids now, they don't go to play in the streets until late at night. They are forever here and it's a struggle for them to go back home. Some of the parents have come and said, guys, we thank you quite a lot for what you're doing because our kids have improved a lot at school. So we are becoming a reading nation in Mosake because of the underground library. As well as Minaran of how to get internet to the whole country. It's in Njiva to what you to do with this is what local government can do. We have a youth center here in school. We can have the computers, the targets, the and then these computers have access to internet. Why not government the government to do internet because of if body thing ya mole di computer tsele and then ba re fa le yona internet e wa ya mahala ba go di sa space se se teng mo teng mo le ba go play ya phata e tona thata mo ba sheng ba ile gore ba teng in the community because of firstly ba tla khona go type ba di cv tsa bone and then secondly ba tla khona go na inform the and on par le bana ba ile gore ba go job i mean bana ba go job ke dia update I do know my local councillor, local government here. I can say that it's not easy to access. If you go to the municipality and then you search for information, like maybe you want an IDP. But IDP. Government, the needs scale. And then it wanted to at least it try to meet that need to put up a dining scale. But if you come to my house, you will office it to bone. And then by the time you go to the location, you will have to go to the restaurant, restaurant, restaurant. I'm not saying that government should put spin us, but I'm saying that it should meet us halfway.
get to the Wi-Fi upstairs or feet. <laughs> and I want a security password, Lord. Uh, it's as easy as that. How hard can it be to the Wi-Fi zones in places where the people still have to send me letters with bad handwriting? Project Isiza is a non-profit organization. We work with government to roll out uh, free Wi-Fi to low-income communities. It's a team effort uh, between the municipality and Project Isiza. We would go out to the communities to identify um, communities which we feel are most in need uh, for the for the for, uh, free Wi-Fi. And this will be townships most of the time in low-income communities areas. We've got Wi-Fi access points in the high schools, primary schools, as well as the universities because we identified that is where, you know, the students are in need for the free Wi-Fi. Our team goes out there to install the Wi-Fi and following that we go back and make sure that it's well maintained. We've got a team down here that is um, on the clock 24-7 ensuring that the Wi-Fi is always working for the communities. There are currently 715 sites. So on that screen there, these are all the sites that have been uh, deployed in the city of Tuane, the likes of uh, Soshanguva, Atrojifield, etc. So these are where all these sites are monitored and these are the guys that are actually get called to come and fix if there's any faults on our sites. This is the site of the cameras that are installed in, on our high site um, for monitoring reasons, obviously, and to make sure that everything is monitored and looked after. I've been very fortunate as Project Isizwe to start a project called um, Wi-Fi Champions. They go out to the communities and, and educate communities about the 20 free Wi-Fi, how to access free Wi-Fi, what are the benefits um, available to you when, you, you, when, you, when using the free Wi-Fi. To date, we're talking about 1.4 million users have actually accessed the 20 free Wi-Fi. They get information such as work, they, there's job sites and education um, sites. So in that sense, the youth of 20 is empowered to actually make themselves into better citizens. The success stories are unlimited. The recent one that I can talk to you about is about um, Martin. Martin is a youth from Soshanguve who has started his own radio station, which is focused on current affairs through the use of the 23 Wi-Fi. Martin expressed without the 23 Wi-Fi, he wouldn't be able to start the radio station as data costs are very expensive. So with the provision and the availability of the 23 Wi-Fi, he's now running his two hour radio station, which he hopes to increase it in the future to probably be a whole Station. In order for Wi-Fi to be available in communities, somebody has to fund it. Either municipalities or companies or private companies that feel they want to give back to the communities. So as government, they want to give to the communities, but somehow funding is, doesn't really come out um, as fast as it could be. We find ourselves not being able to roll out as many sites as we would hope to, because as Project Isizwe, we really believe that internet access to the communities is what will really create a better South Africa and a future for our youth. Okay, but it's all in our Wi-Fi. I'm like a changing. I'm not playing it out on a dangle scale. And the only connector is on the internet for now. On a little on a smartphones, but on a little on a smartphones. Then I can only smartphone myself. So like, but how to put things? But how to connect? How to access it to internet? Because of um, um, internet. And then, internet. useless smartphone and then o information from 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 your smartphone and then osa khona go print out whatever information e linkedin mo so when i plan ya go keng like ona gana go re from here re to go ya kae ga go dira eng go re re khona go tekela this challenge i'm a former um, project manager at community center mm. we've requested so many times for the for the local government to assist us for a bigger office space. Mm. Whereby, in the follow-up procedure, we have to go to the 
sent to the municipal manager. We attended meetings with them. Mm. They promised to they look up, up into it because of mm. it's called 1933. Yeah. It's yeah. yeah. Mm. yeah. Mm. Mm. But then they said that they were not able to play because of the mines are using it for interviews. Mm. But since they were not able to play for interviews, and and that is all from me, Bafei. To those of you who have internet access, please, they're watching with the Facebooks and the Twitters. And those of you who haven't, start finding out if your ward councillors have been making plans for Wi Fi in your area before it's voting time. Act, Bafei. Until next time. <laughs>G. Like voting is so exciting. I'm actually doing a selfie documentary about it. I think they'll take me to can. Whatever it's called. Mm. Yes, girl. Voting. Hey! Fitness Faith, where have you been now? Ah. And how are you doing with that selfie documentary, sister? Oh my gosh, it's such hard work. You know, it's like taking my face to the gym. I mean, a hundred poses a day really doesn't keep the doctor away. Oh, sister, just relax. You, you are getting a break very, very soon, sister man. <laughs> what break? <laughs> no, lovey. The point is to take every single moment. All right. <laughs> so how do you feel about not being allowed to capture their moment? <laughs> <laughs> lovey, every moment is the moment. Hey, chick. So I take it you're not voting. Because, you know, taking selfies in the voting booth is not allowed. Eh? <gasps> why? Mama, why? <laughs> why? Oh, Mama! Definitely deaf and be able to read books. I'd rather be deaf than learning be able to read books. Deaf. Reading books. Deaf. I could not imagine the world with not seeing anything. Everything is better to look at than listen to. I think I'd rather receive bad advice. I'd rather receive bad advice. Receive bad advice. Hashtag history is repeating itself. Hashtag confused. Hashtag disarray. Hashtag chaotic.